All right, you're going to want to open up uh, your um, virtual DJ real quick and go to your configuration settings. Uh, underneath video, go ahead and make sure that both of these at the moment are unclicked or unchecked. Use hardware acceleration and active. Go ahead and click OK. X out of virtual DJ. Reload it. Go to configuration, video, go ahead and uh, check both active and use hardware acceleration, and close out of virtual DJ again. Um, now, unfortunately, I'm not working with uh, Windows 8 uh, with this particular computer, um, so I'm going to just give it a shout out to Blessin uh, Jose. Um, for, I guess, making this video for other people to use. You're going to want to go over to your search by coming over here, type in RegEdit, of course, click RegEdit, and it's going to take you to Registry Editor. Now, you're going to want to go up here to File, and first, uh, and click Export, and you're going to want to make something pre-VDJ fix, something like that. And you're going to actually want to save this, your settings, because it's supposed to be in Windows once you get into Registry Editor. These changes are permanent and instantaneous. For whatever reason, this particular version of Windows or my computer, it doesn't do that. So when I shut off the computer, it has always went back to previous values, which was annoying to me. But this is also in case... Uh, makes Virtual DJ work uh, less worse than what it did before, and it shouldn't. So go to hkey underscore current underscore user, expand that, come down to software, and expand that folder. Let's go all the way down here to find Virtual DJ, expand the folder. Now you're going to want to go all the way down. to video memory free. Now, your value should say 59. If it says anything else or zero, don't worry about what the other uh, videos have said, like put a thousand in here. You're going to want to go to decimal, type in 59, and this 59 is actually 59 megabytes, um, and I'm about 99% positive that with the Intel 4000, graphics card, uh, its actual onboard memory is only 59 megabytes. Um, go to video uh, memory max use. Um, now you said you had 6 uh, gigabytes and the way the Intel HD graphics card works is that the extra about, I think it's 2 gig of uh, video processing power is robbed from the RAM, but anyway, uh, you're not going to need any more than a thousand megabytes, which is roughly um, one gig. But make sure you are have highlighted decimal here because if you change this value in hexadecimal and say so you put in a thousand and went to hexadecimal, you're now at four thousand ninety six megabytes. So you want to be in decimal, type in one thousand. Click OK. Um, this video memory, make sure that it is decimal and type in 59. Click OK. Now, this is one step that is not necessary, but unless you want to give a company uh, free advertisement, I don't because I paid for the product. Uh, if they want free advertisement, they need to pay me. This value normally says uh, 0. Go ahead and type in 1. Um, and when you drag over your, uh, I guess, window to play your video at the club, uh, home, wherever you're playing videos to a projector or uh, flat screen panels that may be all over the club or bar, um, that way it doesn't show virtual DJ in that back corner um, or bottom corner. Um, now, you're going to want to go down here to video YV12 bug. This value should say zero right now. Um, so go ahead and go to decimal, change this value to 1, 
and click OK. Um, there are some other things that you could um, mess with, but basically look right through here and make sure that these settings um, all represent uh, in your computer exactly what mine do. Um, so on top of if this doesn't fix your issue. Um, but again, um, it's not a big deal, but go ahead and see. Like now you want to go in here to export VDJ fix one. And you're going to want to save these values. Now you're going to want to import that exact same thing, VDJ fix one, rigid and open. Now we are going to open up virtual DJ. Somewhere. Come to video, make sure, well, I guess you don't have to click active, but make sure that your use hardware acceleration is on. And now you should be able to use effects, and there should be no um, stutter or slowness to your uh, videos. Let's see if that actually works. And it appears the problem should be fixed. Let me know if that does not fix your problem. And you have a great day.